right, so I just finished programming operation number two. And this is for the RC Moto gear housing. This is the first op that we did right here. But now there's a big chunk of metal on the other side and we have to finish the other side. So we're flipping it over and we made a special plate that match up perfectly with this part. So as we come over, we slide it. It's like 10 thousandths of an inch. It's just such a snug fit to get it over. We're locking it down and then we're cutting it away. We're machining this on our brand new five axis machine, the UMC 750 from Haas Automation. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna crank off some big chips. They're gonna be so fat and big that when you bounce them, they're gonna clang in your hands. It's gonna be incredible. We're gonna get the code, put it in the machine, and we're gonna make this happen right now. Boom! Run the simulation right now so I can zoom in I can see where I'm at right over here all right I just want to touch base on why I run certain parts dry and why I run certain parts with coolant the simple reason is because I want to show the viewers I want to show the audience exactly how the machine is cutting the material so you can see the chips popping off and see how awesome machining truly is. So the tool's right here and it's finishing. And you see all the five axes working from the side. Just cut all the grooves on the side of the RC motor gear housing. Creating the bores. Right now, chips are just popping off, popping off. I can see exactly where my tool is going and making sure that it doesn't go somewhere it's not supposed to go. When we're cutting titanium or ink canal and even some of the harder steels, I always use coolant. I get away with it when I'm machining aluminum and other softer metals because I take nice aggressive cuts, keep my spindle low down, keeping the heat out of the aluminum so it doesn't heat up, melting the aluminum to the tool, which would break the tool and cause damage to the machine. Part looks awesome. Looks like everything worked perfectly. 